Hi, welcome back to Bride Society. I'm Rebecca and this is Laura. Today we're talking about how to give a good wedding speech. Um, so it really doesn't matter who you are watching us, you know, who's delivering the speech, because um, I appreciate here in the UK it's typically only the men that speak, like the groom, the best man, the father of the bride, but of course the women are allowed to speak. They are, yes. Yes, and obviously <laughs> in North America traditionally do and so on and so forth. So no matter who it is, this can apply to all of you. So the tips and tools for like before the day and on the day, we've got you covered. So. Yeah. so we're going to start with what to put it in your speech, so the content, just kind of broad tips um, for that. And probably the main thing you might want to consider, or the easiest part to consider when you're first sitting down to write your speech, is maybe traditionally what role you have and do you have to thank anybody. So. Um, if, you, if there's a groom, he often thanks the bridesmaids and yeah. um, talks about his newly married new, new person. Yeah. Uh, the best man will talk about the groom. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't even know now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. So if there are any thank yous, kind of thank you everybody for coming, any specific thank yous. Um, so you can just make a note of those to start with so you know you've got them in and you won't forget them. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I really do have to mention your yeah, half okay, at yeah. this point. <laughs> I'm sorry. He just can't get away with it. Um, yes. So we, this was highlighted to us, uh, and I think why we thought of it as a key point into making notes about the names of these people is because when I was bridesmaid for Laura, her husband did leave me out and thank the other bridesmaid and not me. Note, bridesmaid. There are only two. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a long list. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Have you forgiven him? Well, he, he did buy me a Starbucks, <laughs> which is the way to my heart, so... But yeah, to avoid having to be in debt to, <laughs> to the person, <laughs> just remember the important people. <laughs> I mean, granted, if they've been rubbish and you don't want to thank them, don't feel you have to, but... <laughs> I was like, I thought it'd been pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, moving on. Um, so yeah, content. Be personal and honest. It will get you a long way, right? People find that endearing. They want to know something about, like, I don't know this varies who, depending who's speaking, but they want to know about the couple that they're there to celebrate yeah. and be there for, and think like, and obviously you've been picked for whatever role it is for a reason and you know them and so yeah speak from the heart and and think about that but we know it's sort of tradition to be like humorous uh, or disparaging or these kind of things or at least here in the UK and I was just like humor is great but if it doesn't come naturally to you yeah. don't force it no we would that's probably a big one Mm. And it, yeah. it becomes awkward and a bit yeah. cringy and a bit like or yeah I mean if you're naturally funny <laughs> yeah if that's just yeah. your personality yeah. and your relationship yeah 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 know your audience mm. and how things you might say might go down so say if you want to tell a really cringeworthy story just maybe think again or think how will Maybe the older members of the audience. Yeah, maybe think. maybe you know the couple's family really well, yeah. and you know they're quite kind of bantery, and it's yeah. well, it will go down well. But but yeah, that's not always going to be the case. No, just so just think right. about it. <laughs> so then before the day, yeah, yeah. So you've written your speech. Now you've got to think about delivering it. Yes. The wedding's coming up. <laughs> yes. So. Practice, yeah. <laughs> basically. <laughs> uh, get a mirror, use the video facility on your phone, set it up, and even maybe practice in front of your other half or just somebody, because it changes things, having another human being there looking yeah. at you, okay? 
so bear that in mind. So, but yeah, use those things for notes just on like, are you making eye contact? Are you smiling? Are you speaking at a pace that can be actually heard? Because <laughs> sometimes you get nervous and you rush. Yeah. So yeah, you, you had a point on that. Yeah, just, well, I mean, practicing out loud rather than just in your head, I think mm -hmm. is really important. And time that. Yes. Um, but speaks more slowly than you think you should. Because I think on the day, regardless of who you are, whether you do speeches and public speaking all the time, there's probably gonna be an element of nerves. You're standing in front, up in front of a lot of people, potentially. Um, you, people have a tendency to speak really quickly when they're nervous. So yeah, just slow it down. And with kind of the testing out in front of somebody or on mm -hmm. video, you can see whether you're doing that automatically and then you can kind of Take a breath <laughs> and just pace it so it's not too slow. I mean, nobody wants to sit there while you're kind <laughs> but, of, mm. yeah. <laughs> but you just want it at a pace that everybody can understand. They're not thinking, what What did they just say? Um, because you just rushed over your words. Um, you spent time and effort writing this speech, so people <laughs> want to enjoy it. And yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> and I love that, you know, you can make notes and have yeah. prompt cards or write the whole thing out if you really want to. Um, but obviously you make sure they're legible. Practice enough with the notes that you won't be looking at the prompts going, oh, what does that mean? You know, like, so I say, have those in preparation, use that as part of your practice. Because for me, like I, I did a speech at my wedding and I knew for me, the thing that would make me nervous was the pressure of having to have it memorized and think that's what would have stressed me out and made me anxious about doing it and I would have been thinking about it and like, oh, I'm going to forget this and all that. And I, was, I just had like bullet points that took me through the whole speech and I say I practiced with them so I, I kind of knew what was there but then if I did sort of... Yeah, it's just that safety net, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, it's the reassurance <laughs> that it's there if you need it. And it's just, I say, do practice with them because you also want to make sure on camera or with your test audience from the feedback that you're not then staring down at it the mm. whole time. It's fine to glance down, but then you need to look back up. So yeah, just practice all of that. <laughs> <laughs> so then you finally get to the wedding day and it's time for speeches. Uh, so one big tip, obviously you're there to enjoy yourself on the wedding day. There might be a few drinks floating around, but maybe just think about not getting too drunk. Yeah, we understand Dutch yeah. courage and all of that. <laughs> Yeah, beforehand this is, I mean, enjoy, by all means. Oh yeah, enjoy quite hard after. after. <laughs> but yeah, you want to be able to speak coherently. You want to be able to stand up and give your speech. Yes. Uh, so yeah, maybe just watch. See what you've written. <laughs> the amount you're drinking <laughs> beforehand. Yes, and remember, you know, the audience is going to be supportive. They'll come expecting there are going to be speeches, so it's not like it's a surprise that you suddenly want to demand their time and make you, them listen to you. Like, it's fine. They're expecting it. They like the people you're talking about. Like, you know, they, they want to hear from you. They're going to give you that space. So, yeah, to, try not to feel, like, anxious about sort of taking anyone's attention or all that kind of thing. Just, yeah, try and hold on to that thought that this is a room full of people that are there for a positive reason. It's yeah. not an interview, it's, you know, it's not an audition, it's none of those things. No, if you make a mistake, nobody's gonna be there judging you or laughing at you. They're just going to want you to do well and they want to hear what you have to say. Yes. Yeah. Which should be helped by breathing. Yes. <laughs> Which is all part of the way. pacing as well. Yeah. Really, like, to breathe. I, as you can probably tell, I have a tendency to speak quite quickly, as my mother always tells me. Oh, really? She's like, I speak too fast, I can't <laughs> understand you. But yes, breathe. It's very important. And if you're worried about being heard, um, because mm. not all venues might have a microphone or you might want to not want to use a microphone, um, obviously helping by not looking down at any notes if you're actually speaking to the room. But a tip is to speak to the person the furthest away, so the person at the back of the room. Mm. Give, deliver your speech as so though you're just talking to them and then yeah, you'll project. naturally project. Yeah. Yes, oh yes. <laughs> yeah, because obviously like, yeah, there's probably like your partner or whoever sat right next to you, you could be tempting to talk at that level. But yeah, it gets boring. <laughs> for the people at the back, they're like, I can't hear a thing. Like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, project. 
Uh, and say whatever you're saying with confidence, even mm. if you're petrified, yeah. you don't do public speaking, yeah, this is you your worst nightmare. You have no confidence in what you've yeah. written. You don't think it's any good. Yeah. I'm sure it is for a start, but say it with enough confidence, don't be apologetic about it, and it'll just give a much better impression, a much better mm -hmm. speech for everybody listening. Yeah, because you know how it is, like, when people, it happens even in your posture, right? If you start to kind of like try and make yourself small and look down, you lower your voice, all that kind of behavior, like, makes people like worry for you, they feel concerned, they feel uneasy, like, it passes on mm. to the people watching. So, as Laura said, if you just, like fake it yeah. basically <laughs> like with all the things like the looking up the projecting the smiling the eye contact as best you can manage then people at least engage in what you're saying and 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 hopefully if you've practiced beforehand that'll also help alleviate kind of some of the knowing the content of the speech and at least you know it and it might help a bit but yeah fake it till you make it <laughs> there you go <laughs> <laughs> and when all that is said and done, you will get a round of applause and you will raise your glass to toast the happy couple or whoever is giving the speech. And you're done. Enjoy the day. Right. <laughs> and well done you. Yes. We'll give you a little round of applause yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we hope that you found that useful. If you've got any other tips to share, mm -hmm. please leave them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.